So hello guys, are you finding difficulty in 3D printing or needs to understand the complete process from start to end in making a physical product? So we'll cover it in this video. In this video, we'll talk about the basics of 3D printing. So basically 3D printer converts any digital file into physical product. So beside me, you can see Ender 3 Pro. I have purchased it for around $200 and it's a Prusa i3 model printer. We put the raw material in the form of spool. This is the PLA filament, it's in the wire form. So the filament passes through the extruder. The extruder pushes the filament towards the hot end. The hot end melts the filament and its temperature can reach up to 250 degrees Celsius. Different filaments have different melting point like PLA melting point is 190 to 220 degrees Celsius and ABS melting point is 220 to 240 degrees Celsius. Now let's get back to our topic. As soon as the filament enters the hot end, it melts and extrudes out from the nozzle. So nozzle have different diameters and it varies from 0.1 mm, 0.2 mm and it continues. Generally 0.4 mm nozzle is widely used and we'll also use that. So 3D printing is a layer by layer printing process. The first layer is printed on XY plane, then the height is increased and then the second layer is printed. One layer after the other is printed till we get the final product. So the complete game is about the XYZ axis system. Now we have an idea how a 3D printer works. Now we will understand the process of 3D printing. There are three main steps in 3D printing. First is designing, second is slicing and third is printing. So first let's talk about the designing. So basically designing is creating anything on CAD software. CAD means computer aided design software like CATIA, Fusion 360, SOLIDWORKS etc. So if you don't have any knowledge in designing then you can only print someone else part or the parts which are available on the internet. But I think if you are into 3D printing, then you must definitely have some skills in designing and you can also learn it. It's not that difficult. Even you can subscribe to my channel. I can also explain you some basics of designing. So after designing, we just need to export the file in STL format. STL means stereo lithography. So just after clicking save as select the STL file type. Now let's discuss the second step that is slicing. So slicing is the process of converting STL file into G code file and printer understands G code file. In slicing process, we have the control over the parameters on which the printing quality depends like speed, printing temperature and there are some more, we'll discuss it during the printing time. There are many free slicing softwares available like Rapid Air Host and Cura and I suggest Cura because first it's free of cost and second it has a simple user interface. And the last step is printing. So after slicing, we just need to upload the G code file on the printer using an SD card and start the print. Let me show you how. So I've opened the Cura software and here you can see my selected printer Ender 3 Pro. If you have any different printer then you can add it from this section. Now let's import the model. So I've designed a 20mm cube and you can see its file type stereo lithography. So now let's understand the printer settings. So first is printing quality. So quality is basically layer height and it's 0.2mm. If you need to refine the quality then you can go with 0.1mm but the printing time will be increased. Now next is walls and top bottom. So just skip it because once you will become pro in 3D printing then you will use these two settings. Next is infill. So infill density is 20%. Now let me explain you what is infill. So basically 3D printer prints the external layer of the model and inside it is hollow but we can't leave it hollow that's why certain structures are designed to increase its strength. So if we will increase the infill density to 100% the model will become complete solid. Now the next is material. So here we put the melting temperature of the filament. So printing temperature is 200 degrees Celsius and build plate temperature is 60 degrees Celsius. Now the next is speed. It is by default 70 mm per second and skip travel and skip cooling. Now next is support. So support is one of the important features in slicing. So support helps in printing the part which are overhang. For example, if you need to print inverted L, so this section of L won't be printed in air. So support, are, so, so support are generated here for printing this part and later we can remove the part. You must have seen in my, in my previous video I have, I have removed supports during the propeller printing. Now next is build plate adhesion. So this method is used to eliminate warping defect. So it is of three types, skirt, brim and wrap. So skirt is creating an external perimeter around the printed object. It is used to determine whether the heat bed is calibrated or not. Now second is brim. Brim is used to increase the surface area of the first layer. This method is also used to eliminate uh, warping. Now next is raft. Raft is creating a false platform under the printed object. So I generally use brim. Now I skip all the other process and now just slice it. So it will take 25 minutes to print. And now let's have a preview of it. So this blue line section is our brim. 
and you can see these triangular sections these are infill infill objects now let's save the part and now let's start the print The most important part of 3D printing process is heat bed calibration. Calibration means the gap between the bed and the nozzle should be perfect so that the filament can come out easily and stick to the bed. If the gap is large then the filament won't stick or if it is less then fil filament won't come out. I have already made a video of heat bed calibration. You can click on the i button and watch it. So this is our finished product and you can see how it's printed layer by layer. And it's a good and clear quality print. You can also refine its quality by printing it with 0.1 mm layer height. But our printing time will increase. So it depends on us whether our priority is printing time or printing quality. Because currently it was a shorter duration print. But once you will start printing bigger parts of 15 to 16 hours, then printing time will be your priority. So guys, I have covered almost everything regarding 3D printer. And if I have left something, then you can definitely ask in the comment section. And my next project will be on a DIY 3D printer. I won't call it cheap but it will be an affordable 3D print. And guys, this channel is all about 3D printing, aviation and robotics. So if you have liked this video and found it informative, then please like, share, subscribe and definitely press the bell icon so that you won't miss any updates. So thank you guys, I'll catch you later with my next project.